These are the new build dumbbells, the fastest adjustable dumbbells on the market. But these are fakes. And these have been a huge staple of my workout routine. So today I'm going to completely break down these dumbbells, breaking down the build quality, compare them to the real new build dumbbells, and finally go over what I like and dislike about these dumbbells. We have to start with the build quality because that is what's most important. It has one of the most satisfying clicks as you swap the weights. Whenever you react the dumbbell, the plates line up pretty nicely and I really haven't had many issues lining them up. And if I do misalign them, it's as easy as picking them back up and putting it back down to align perfectly. And I am pretty rough racking these weights. However, they have not caused any issues so far. The knurling on the handle is pretty nice. I do like it a lot, but it definitely gets the job done. It's probably the same as this barbell right here. One of the most critiqued things about these kind of dumbbells is the plastic gear. Sure, they might go bad over time. However, I personally think they opted for plastic to keep the weight down on the entire dumbbell. Whenever you rack the dumbbell into this rack, you line them up by these triangles right here, and they stack right into place into this design grooves and they line up with these triangles right here and they fit into the opposite grooves. Just like that. And this triangle is plastic. Whenever you do stack them all together, they are very tight and they don't make any noises. So that gives me a lot of confidence that they're not gonna break apart as I use them. They do produce a small rattle, however, they're still very tight. The rattle is just coming from this guy on the outside. The cradle itself is pretty cheap. It is made of plastic and I feel like they could have upped the quality and made it all out of aluminum, especially at this price point, but it is what it and is. These dumbbells range from 5 to 50 pounds or 5 to 80 pounds. No, they are not expandable dumbbells, which is a flaw for some of y'all because you do have to drop a lot of money in order to get that 80 pound set like I did. So I am honestly unsure of what New Bell Dumbbell is the first New Bell Dumbbell. There are quite a few different brands coming out with these New Bell Dumbbells like SMRTFT, which is said to be the OG, Ruberflex, which is these ones, and FF, and other ones that I care not to mention. And from the photos, they look nearly exactly the same. Look on the edge they look the same. All the gears, they look the same. The handles, they look the same. The cast iron plates, they're the same. And my assumption is that there is a big dumbbell manufacturer over in China who creates these dumbbells and other brands slap their logos on it. Nothing wrong with that. It's just that that means one brand is not better than the other brand. The big fitness influencers probably push the OG brand, SMRFTF, SMR. TFT because maybe they have a little bit nicer website. However, that does not mean they're the first dumbbells made. If you have more information on this subject, comment down below. I could be missing something. Let's go over the pros of these dumbbells before I go over the cons. The alignment triangles are shaved at an angle to make it easier to rack up, which is nice. So they thought about that. And this is what I'm talking about. You can see how they shaved these corners to make it easier to put in place like that. It's super easy to do job sets with because you can easily just put them back into a spot and twist it to get heavier or lighter weight. A set of 80 pound dumbbells take up very little room compared to having to have a complete dumbbell set that would probably take up this entire wall here and cost a lot more money. And finally, the main reason I got these is that they look like a standard dumbbell. Then they don't look kind of goofy like the power blocks. However, the power blocks are really good. I just think they look goofy. Now the cons. Plastic gears is a big con, but I think they did it for a reason. Sometimes the alignment fails. However, they're easy to re-rack. And my final con with these dumbbells is that they're not expandable. I really feel like they're easy to make expandable, but they just decided not to. It is what it is. For these dumbbells, the pros heavily outweigh the cons, in my opinion. However, if you want something more durable and that you can probably care a lot less about damaging, then I would recommend checking out the power blocks. I have them linked down below. And I also have these dumbbells linked down below as well. This is Chris. I always appreciate and respect another. I'll see you next time.